it's maliciously motivated that they just want to take your money or something, but you know maybe they believe it or whatever. But there's no you know nobody's come back from the dead you know to tell us what it's like. So um, I don't know the 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 focus in in so so focusing on that reincarnation stuff um, doesn't seems to be you know com completely missing the point is my take on it. But yeah, it is a big you know it's a big difference between. Uh, Tibetan style Buddhism and, and Zen, in that you know they're very open about it. But I think it also relates to you know, to like karma. And that, yeah. You know, it, it, it ties in with those kind of things as well. Well, cause and effect, oh, you know. Okay. Um, I mean that that's a whole other topic, but uh, but the you know that story about the guy who was born five hundred lifetimes as a wild fox and all that. Um, the the um, actually. Uh, Joshi Sasaki's version of that uh, says uh, says uh, the, uh, the the truth of cause and effect are shining as clear as noonday. I think it's the one that's in his book, um, which I always like that idea. But um, this guy is wondering about cause and effect after he's been you know he he did something that that caused him to be born five hundred lifetimes as a wild fox, um, and. The answer that he gets, you know, the cause and effect is clear as noonday, is, is like saying, well, here's your cause and effect. You're living in cause and effect. Um, and, and it doesn't matter about, you know, past life or future life and, and all this other thing. Here's cause and effect and here's how it works right now. And be careful what you do now because you can see how it works uh, in this moment. Um, and whatever happens afterwards, just kind of, you know, you're you're just getting getting into things in your, in your mind and, and thinking about it. Um, but what what you do is actually much more vital than whether it's going to affect you. You know, and you're going to be reborn as an ocelot or something. What is an ocelot? I mean, it's it's a it's a big deal, and you know, I, I think actually when I was talking about the thing that made me mad about Nishijima Sensei was probably one of his talks about reincarnation, because uh, when I first uh, came to study, you know, in this uh, came to one of these retreats, that was a, a thing that was much on my mind at the time, and he was saying there's no reincarnation. I'm like, you know, and Buddhism doesn't believe in reincarnation, and I'd be like, there's millions of Buddhists who believe in reincarnation. You know, so. Oh, we should finish. Mm -hmm. say? Okay. Uh, all right, I guess we gotta get prepared for lunch, so let's do the, um...